Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Zeta. This is episode 69. We are outside of Mount Epsilon, up near the top. Our Pokemon are kind of dead. And, uh, you know, we haven't made it to a nurse or anything, so nothing we can do about that. Have you ever heard of Aurorus? It learns a neat move called Freeze Dry that is especially good against water types. Huh. Well, we do have an Aurorus. I wonder if he said that because we have... Oh, no. That's a shame. We really don't have much PP for anything left. <sighs> what are we going to do about that, though? Really? Okay, actually, this guy's a water trainer. El Skeptilo. Let's do this. Leaf Blade. Really? <clears throat> Come on, don't... Nice, okay. We're definitely gonna have to use a Hyper Potion to heal Skeptile, though. It's a shame. Hopefully we can make it to... I hope there's at least a nurse, if not an entire, uh, town very soon. Sloking. Uh, bag. We only have four hyper potions left. <sighs> Trump card. That wouldn't do much damage. We're gonna just mega. Might as well. Uh, we can only use it once per battle, but we can use it every battle, so, you know. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes. Good. He learns Leaf Storm at 67, but we're not going to be there for a bit. Starmie. Nope. Both those Pokemon are Psychic type. Ah, I'm running out of Leaf Blade. This is a shame because Starmie has Recover, and if I don't kill it, it can just heal itself. Um, no. <laughs> okay, Starmie's down. It still has one Pokemon left, though. Because we've only killed three. Oh, cool. Level 62. Golduck. Another Leaf Blade, but this is my final one. Kill it? Ah, uh, that's a shame. I guess we can just use Dragon Pulse, though. Actually, it just used a move that increased its special defense, so let's use a physical attack. Good. Okay, so another trainer bites the dust. I wish I had an Aurorus. <laughs> I'm gonna heal our Pokemon just a little bit, and we will be back again. Okay, we really don't have much in the way of healing supplies, unfortunately. That's why I skipped that guy. I'd like to skip trainers if possible. So that I can at least get to a... Ooh. That could have been dangerous. Oh. I was scared for a second there. Save it just in case. <gasps> Polaris Town! Yes! We made it to a town, guys! Good! That is excellent. Wow, they have a Safari Zone as well. Maybe we should check those out. There might be some cool things in there. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Because they certainly need it. Good. Awesome. Okay. There are so many mountains in the world, and there's almost always a ridiculously powerful legendary or trainer at the top. Just an observations. No, just an observation. I heard the gym leader here is so cool he invented the telephone before electricity was discovered. What? That's... <laughs> what? I tried getting up to the top of Mount Epsilon, but I just couldn't do it. The air is too sparse up there. Okay, I'm gonna go through the uh, houses as usual, and I will tell you guys anything interesting. Be back in a minute. Okay guys, I've explored the town and the only thing good... Uh, well actually, I got a time flute over here, and I got the TM for Dragon Claw right here in this house. I've decided we're going to take a little bit of a peek into the uh, Safari Zone. 
if we have the money. Do we? Yeah, barely. <laughs> I bought some potions and stuff, so, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Let's see, where do I get all the bait and stuff if they don't give it to me? Hmm? I wonder if there's cool things here. It's definitely water. Maybe we can find a good water Pokemon that we'd like. Because... <sighs> Wilmer is not working out, unfortunately. Cloyster. Cloyster is half ice. I did not mean to throw a ball, but if that catches it, you know, whatever. I'm cool with it. Nope. Okay. Uh. Okay. I didn't really want a Cloyster anyway. I could have gotten one in the previous region and decided not to, so. You know. Ooh, Dugong. Another water and ice type. That might not be a bad idea. Ooh. Is it gonna flee as well? Watch him carefully. I'm gonna throw another ball. There's probably some cool items in the uh, Safari Zone here and in the town before. But I didn't go through that Safari Zone. I probably should have. It's a bit late now. Okay. I could use the hiking boots. Let's see what's down here. Wait, what? You can't go down there. I don't understand. Okay, have to go down here. Up here. So convoluted. Up here. It appears that you can't run into a wild Pokemon on this snow. I thought you could. That's weird. Ah, so many hikings. Yes, yes. I always want to hike. Hiking is actually pretty fun. It's a shame there are no mountains uh, within several hundred miles of me. Oh, oh, an Obama snow. Half grass, half ice. I'm level 49, so I'd have to level it if I did get it. But I really don't think I need a bunch of ice Pokemon. The gym here is ice type. It's unfortunate that Larvesta is absolute garbage because he would be a lot of help here you know jinx psychic and ice yeah if we can catch it maybe we'll use no jinx is ice type we need water type actually I guess we don't need a water type do we ah uh, yeah it'd probably be good either water or fighting I guess One more ball. Nah, guess we're not catching this Jinx. Actually, I'll rock it, see if it runs away. Yeah, I figured. There's nothing up there. So it appears we can run into wild Pokemon here, but they seem kind of rare, honestly. Yes. Uh, nothing over here, so we'll go over here. Nothing over there, so up here. Uh, and then we're going to have to go all the way back through this. It's going to be terrible, especially because we have zero repels. It's horrible. All of this for just this item. It's better be a good item. What is it? A bomb of sight. Oh, okay. It's a Mega Stone. Will it take me all the way up, or... Yeah, it will. Okay. So I guess I don't have to go back through all of that, huh? I'm definitely considering Dugong. I'm not sure how good Dugong is, but... It would be an okay water Pokemon. I don't really like Cloyster, though. I don't care for it, personally. I mean, I know it's water and ice, but I don't know about its damages and such. But, you know, if I caught one, whatever. I'll rock it. Yeah, I figured. The rock seems pretty useless. <laughs> they always run. Is there anything else besides that? No, it doesn't look like it. So, I guess we're done. Okay, well, we got a bomb of sight. The Mega Stone for a, a bomb of snow. 
Oh, there's a little person here. Go, go, go up to the summit? Are you insane? The air is barely breathable at this height. You can die if you go any higher. I don't care. I'm magic. I can do what I want. Maybe we should try and take on the gem. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, no. No. Okay, if that didn't work. Um, nope, that's a hole. Oh no! There are a bunch of trainers! <laughs> Rabbits are my favorite type of animal. I don't understand how that's relevant to this, honestly. Cool trainer. Ha. Ha ha. You're so funny. You are super, super funny. Cool trainer. Okay. Don't you die. Don't do it. Good. Good damage? Really? I was hoping for better damage. Ah, really? See, if I would have used Blizzard twice consecutively, I would have missed both times. I feel like this is really unfair. Okay, so it's Ice type. Uh, let's try Larvesta, see if Larvesta can hit it at all. Probably not? Yeah, no. Oh wait, double not very effective? Or not very effective, I'm not sure. Oh wow, it actually killed it. Okay, so ice moves are not very effective. We might be able to do this. And Lar if, if, if Larvesta can do this and evolve, that'll be amazing. Jinx, it is psychic type. Uh, so great, 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 great. Um, I'm gonna use... Ooh. No, 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 no. Well, okay, no, see, Larvesta's garbage. Yeah, well, that's entirely useless. If all you can do is sacrifice yourself because you're a piece of garbage, you know... That's not exactly a sign of being a good Pokemon. Both of my other Pokemon are weak to ice, which is, it's just excellent. Ah, Moonblast. Let's try Moonblast. Oh, wow. Blizzard actually missed. Wow, that did very, very little damage. Oh, that one didn't miss. Is Altaria dead? Yes, it is. Ah, that's excellent. That's great. Great, great, great. Because this means I get to go level. Yay! Leveling is the absolutely worst thing about Pokemon. I hate it. It is... Oh, God. It's terrible. Let's see if Dragon Pulse can do it. No, it can't! Can Blizzard one-hit Skeptile? Probably. Oh, yes it can! I'll be back, guys. Maybe we should just try and do this without failing a single time. What do you think about that? Oh, never mind! We would have to face literally every single trainer. That's not happening. Okay, so we can't just go straight up. Th oh, well. Okay, let's try and go down or over here. Is this gonna do anything? Drop me in a hole. No. I wish there were a faster way to restart the game because I really don't want to have to keep doing that. And I definitely don't want to waste six, seven hours leveling because that'll only get me like three levels. If that, so, you know, not super, super fun, honestly. Not that. But we definitely had, uh, we had, we had it close. Over here, up, to the right, up, over here. Down, maybe? Over here. Let's see. We might... Oh! So the only place we can go is over here. Maybe try up? No. Okay. We'll try up from here. Um... 
Okay. So now we're here. I'm gonna save the game right here. That is not where we wanted to go. We want to be one over and do this. Maybe come over here. Yes, I think. What's down? Over, up. Yes! We've done it, guys! Alright, the gym leader is a bear. We're gonna save it again, just in case. Welcome! You were the one, you were that one challenge, the one I met in Katana Cave. I remember you. Welcome to my gym. I am the Polaris Town Gym Leader. Very few people even know my name, and even fewer still have made the hike up the mountain to challenge me. They say my very name can make you sputter with fear. Let's get started then. I'm anxious to see what kind of skills you dare bring to my frozen throne. What's your name? Yeah. Leader Tim. Tim. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Okay, Mama Swine. Oh man, we have no chance whatsoever. But, you know, we'll try anyway, because why not? Instant kill? Yep. So basically, if we don't one hit them, we are going to die with a 100% chance. It's a shame, but nothing I can do about that. Another one bites the dust, and I guess I'm going to have to spend 7 hours leveling. Because getting 10 levels for all of my Pokemon is going to take really, really long. Let's see. You know what? Nope, never mind, I'm dead. Let's see. Oh, yep, one hit. Hey, I hit Mammoth Swine once, right, guys? That's, uh. That's pretty good. This is stupid. <sighs> oh, never mind. Double super effective, and I die. Ah, can Whalmer beat the opposite team? No, it can't. Neither can Aurorus. A single earthquake and Aurorus is dead. Let's see, Thunder Wave? No, apparently. Oh, right, it's ground type. It's great. And Aurorus is dead. Yep. Let's see, Whalmer, can you can you one hit them? Can you? Let's see. Water spout. No, Whalmer's dead. Well, that was a great battle, right guys? Right. That's excellent. Yeah, I lost. Yeah. All of this is completely unnecessary. I don't understand why I should care. I was gonna just reset the game, but it occurs to me that $300 is nothing at all. So instead, you guys get to watch me battle all those trainers down there. Sounds fun? It's not for me. This snowy, freezing mountaintop is the perfect environment for my bug types. No, it's not. Unless you have ice bugs. Are there ice bugs? Bug catcher, super genius. Yes super genius. Oh right! It is a bug. And steel. Okay, uh, we're probably gonna switch Pokemon. We're gonna try and use Larvesta to kill all these guys. If Larvesta can evolve, it'll definitely be more useful. I believe it gains more special defense and special attack, so it should deal fair damage. Okay, now we're gonna switch to Larvesta. Maybe it'll, you know, maybe it'll evolve. It's not gonna evolve, but you know, maybe. Let's see, will Larvesta die in the first hit? Probably. Probably. Larvesta isn't a great Pokemon. 
Oh. Oh, it didn't die in the first hit. What? It's magical. But, can't survive more than one hit, for sure. This is impossible. Maybe it would be better just get a fire Pokemon that wasn't absolute garbage. You know? Maybe. You know, maybe if I had six more rare candies. Okay, that'll do. Of course it used double edge. One hit kill? Oh no. Wow, actually Larvesta might survive this. I don't think poison is going to deal 12 damage. That's going to be crazy if it does. No! It dealt 12 damage! Never mind! Ha! <sighs> Guys, I really don't suggest Larvesta for anything at all, ever. Larvesta is probably the worst Pokemon in the game. I'm not kidding. Horrible Pokemon. Never use it. It's garbage. Volcarona might be good, but Larvesta isn't worth it. No Pokemon should have to go to level 59 to evolve a single time. That right there is a mark of being garbage, so, you know. Uh, okay. Wow, that did almost no damage. And that did almost all damage. Oh, that's great. Not very effective, right? Yep, okay. Yeah, that hardly matters. Let's try Moonblast, you know, why not? Also not very effective. Right, because it's Steel type. I wonder if we should try and uh, catch it. I feel like battles go so slowly. Probably because they do. I think Aurora's has the most health out of any of my Pokemon. Netball. It's a bug type Pokemon, so maybe Netball will catch it. Yes, it did. Nice. Awesome. Okay. How? How? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go heal and we'll be right back. You know guys, Larvest is probably the worst Pokemon. I'm, I'm not even kidding. It dies in a single hit because it has about 40 less defense and special defense than any other Pokemon on my team. 40. If that doesn't say garbage, I don't know what does. I'm not a very good battler, but you are. This is unfair. Doesn't matter if you're a good battler because Larvesta dies to everyone. What kind of name is Samula? By the way, I dropped Whalmer for Flygon because maybe Flygon can actually kill things. Wow, okay. That was actually a lot of damage for uh, that. But it is a Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon aren't super great. That's great. Perhaps I should use the Time Flute on Flygon. Time Flute is, uh... Okay, congratulations. It's a, an item that instantly uh, opens the door to a Pokemon's heart. It doesn't purify them, but it does open the door to their heart, or it, you know, it lowers their shadow gauge, or empties their heart gauge, fills it up, I'm not sure which it does. One of those, it makes it so you can purify the Pokemon, okay? But I'm honestly not sure how we're going to beat this gym leader. Really? 
This is ridiculous. That was absolutely beyond ridiculous. That's great. Still maintain that leveling is the absolutely worst thing that you can do. And the level curve here in Aroma just makes this game near unplayable. It, it doesn't make it fun at all. I'm really not having fun. None. Zero. But, what else am I going to do? Am I just going to stop the series here? Because that wouldn't be very good of me. kind of have to finish. And we are near the end, so you know, what's the point in quitting now? But really, this is the worst thing ever. Other than the sun. I hate the sun, too. The sun is probably the worst thing ever. Ah, if only Skeptile weren't double weak to ice when it's Mega Evolved. You know, maybe then it would be useful in that battle. Almost every single one of my Pokemon are weak to ice, though, so what am I going to do? There's unfortunately not much I can do. Other than level, which is literally impossible for Larvesta because it's too stupid to not die in one hit. <sighs> Maybe I should just cheat and trade myself over some Pokemon from the previous region. You know? Watch, it's gonna die. Oh wow. Is Larvesta gonna die from an attack that doesn't deal damage? Wouldn't doubt it. It's definitely crappy enough. Definitely crappy enough. I don't even have a TM for Flamethrower. I was gonna teach, uh... Dead... Oh wow, it survived. That's... Wow. I was going to teach Altaria Flamethrower. Just because it would be very useful for the battle. But... I don't have it. Maybe I should give Altar or Larvesta the EXP share instead. Because trying to actually battle with it obviously isn't what I should be doing. It's just too crappy. But, I mean, the only other fire Pokemon I have is a level 17 Shadow Vulpix. So, that's not exactly better. Actually, should I give someone the Lucky Egg? Um, I think Altaria. Yeah. Okay, can we make it to the town? Oh wow, good. Because Larvesta had zero chance whatsoever. See, I was I was really trying to level Larvesta. Uh, I was just fighting wild Pokemon. But of course, wild Pokemon can one-hit Larvesta too, so it doesn't really matter. We'll have Aurorus out front. It's a shame there's no follower sprite. And can't run away from any of these Pokemon because they're a higher level than me and apparently faster. Earthquake's gonna one hit kill me, watch. <gasps> it didn't. But yeah, see, I have no chance now. There's nothing I can do. Even the wild Pokemon are killing me easily. The trainers are impossible. So, you know, what to do? I guess there is a line of trainers here in this gym that I could try. Just go down the ladder straight away. And uh, try and beat some gym people. Save the game. And let's go. Ha! Did you fall down? Now you gotta fight! No, I didn't fall down. 
Uh, if I fell down, I would definitely have no chance. Uri. Lapras. Aurorus. Might as well try and paralyze it, right? Oh, right. Because, uh, apparently, you know, water is perfectly fine against ice. I mean, ice is literally just frozen water, but same thing, right? Right, guys. Never forget that. Wow, that was actually very little damage. But of course, these Pokemon are 10 levels higher than mine, because apparently they have somewhere magical to train that gives them, I don't know, 40, 50 times the XP? Either that, or they spent literal days in real life, uh, one day per Pokemon, of course, because it takes way too long to level. It's ridiculous, honestly. There's not really a point. This is the only way Larvesta could ever level up. Glaceon. Nope. Might as well stick with this, right? Stick with the Pokemon that's double weak, because... It hardly matters. We're gonna do crappy damage regardless of who we use, so... Might as well use this guy, right? Except he's dead now. Well, Skeptile... Uh, Mega Skeptile and Superpower, if we can hit it first, unlikely. Might kill it. We'll see. Let's see if we can hit it, guys. Probably not. Because now we're double weak to ice. Oh, we actually hit it. Let's see if it dies. Wow, that did almost no damage. What a great Pokemon. You know, maybe we should have taken Torchic. I mean, I absolutely abhor Torchic, Combusken, and Blaziken. They are ugly Pokemon, and they are terrible, crappy Pokemon to me, of course. Everyone else uses Blaziken like no tomorrow, so, you know, whatever. Oh wow! Larvesta might kill something. Nope. Wow. I can't believe I actually thought Larvesta was going to kill something. Ah, uh, silly me. I guess I'll never learn. Wow, it actually did. That is incredibly surprising. But it'll die on the next guy. Watch. Delibird. Yeah, it's gonna use Aerial Ace or something. What a weird Pokemon. Wow, that actually did pretty okay damage. Present. Uh... Delibird's a crappy Pokemon. Who would actually use Delibird? Other than this trainer right here. Wow, we actually beat the trainer. Larvesta actually killed something. That's... weird. You fell! You're lame! I didn't fall. I climbed down a ladder. Well, guys, I've spent this episode not being able to kill anything, and that is incredibly frustrating. It's about time to finish the episode, but I think I'm going to fight one more trainer and then call it a day. It's a shame we couldn't, uh, at all we literally hit the gym leader a single time because, uh, you know, one hit every single one of our Pokemon. It was great. I liked it. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely enjoyed it, personally. Save the game because if I lose, I'm not going to, uh, I'm definitely not going to give up all my money. Our leader is far too strong for some weasel like you. Rude. I didn't call you any names, and you're calling me a weasel. Doby. You have a stupid name. So, you know, deal with that. I think Rock is super effective. Really? Freeze-dry. I thought... Uh, 
Boris was the only one who learned that. It's a shame Ancient Power doesn't have all that much, uh, power. 10% chance to increase every... Really? Solar Beam? It's gonna use Solar Beam. Well, that's gonna kill me. Yep. See, this is why friendship evolution is a horrible, horrible thing. Let's see, Larvesta, can you kill it? No. Oh, wow! Wait, what? Larvesta survived that. That is a Christmas miracle. Here in August. Christmas miracle. Glalie. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's go, Larvesta. Maybe you can kill something. I severely, severely doubt Larvesta's gonna uh, make it through this battle, though. One hit and Larvesta's dead. Because I'm not wasting a Hyper Potion on, you know, 50, 60 health. That would just be a waste. Yep. Okay, and then now I die, unless it's stupid and uses hail again. Nope, use blizzard. Oh wow. Never mind. Oh right! Because they always get to freeze. It's great. See, I was fighting a uh, a wild lately. Use blizzard once, instant freeze. <sighs> yes. Well, Espeon levels up. Larvesta doesn't, because Larvesta's garbage. Nope, I'm gonna stick with this. It's a shame that there aren't any other fire Pokemon that I could go with. Because, man, Larvesta. Absolutely horrible. Does it only know the move present? Can it learn anything else? Oh well, we'll never find out because it's dead. Okay. Far too strong for me as well. Okay, well that's two trainers out of the six I believe it is. Down. Perhaps I can train in the secret base. Oh no, never mind, that costs a lot of money. Guess who doesn't have money? It's me. Ah, I think I have, what, 20,000 now? Yep, 20,000. That's great. That's great. Absolutely perfect. You know? Because, I mean, why would I want money? <sighs> I definitely don't want money at all. See, uh, I went mining for about an hour uh, a couple days ago and ended up earning, like, fifteen thousand dollars you know so mining is definitely profitable if you spend all day leveling's profitable if you spend all day and I'm just not gonna waste that much time I'll just keep trying until eventually I get lucky and beat it because I'm not going to waste 30 40 hours leveling a single Pokemon ten times it's it's not fun at all in any way shape or form maybe it is to you guys some people actually like leveling I don't understand how you can like that. But, you know, everyone's different, so... You know, you people are lucky. I doubt uh, you people had a lot of trouble like I am. Because I avoid battles and wild Pokemon and leveling. Anyway, I know we didn't get anything at all, uh, at all done this episode, but... What else am I supposed to do? I could have either not done anything at all, or at least got to the town and leveled a couple times. And I also uh, went through the Safari Zone. What did I get from there again? I don't recall. And we got Dragon Claw in this house, so, you know, wasn't entirely a bust. Maybe you enjoyed the episode. I hope you did, but I really don't blame you if you didn't. I'll see you guys next time, I guess.
hopefully next time we will be beating that gym leader rather than being one hit every single turn. Maybe I should just give everyone focus bands. I do have a bunch of focus bands. That should kind of prevent it, right? Yeah. Let's uh, let's give Espeon one. Let's give. Ah oh, man. Let's give Aurorus one. Yeah, and then we'll give Flygon one. There. Now they might not be able to do one hit. Uh, if I remember, I'll level a bit before next episode. Otherwise, you know, I'll spend all night trying to beat the gym leader. Anyway, guys, thanks for supporting me and stuff and actually watching these videos, the eight or nine that do. It's pretty cool. Thanks for all the comments and stuff. I like reading comments and replying to comments unless they make no sense and then you're stupid. Uh, sorry. But really, I've gotten some comments that just, they don't make any sense whatsoever. So I just don't reply because I have no idea what they're saying. It's weird. But uh, some people just don't have, uh, aren't very lucky with getting their point across, you know? It's understandable. Anyway, I'm talking for way too long. It's probably really boring and no one's watching this part anyway now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good luck me. And bye bye.